just as godly Christian friends can be a tremendous encouragement to your new beginning. Nothing can sabotage your new beginning faster than hanging out with people who are toxic, unbelieving, dishonest, immoral. As one old preacher admonished his church, if you sleep with dogs, you'll wake up with fleas. You know, the Apostle Paul warns in 1 Corinthians, don't be deceived, bad company corrupts good morals. Note that Satan often uses bad company to deceive us. Toxic friends are not likely to tell us they wanna ruin our life by exposing us to drugs or immorality or dishonesty or gossip or gambling or breaches of the law. No, they inevitably come with a sweet siren song that lulls us to sleep and distracts our hearts from the things of God. Often we deceive ourselves into thinking we can compromise with worldly people in worldly ways and still maintain a close relationship with God. But Paul challenges the Corinthian church about this. He said, don't be bound together with unbelievers. For what partnership or what fellowship have unrighteous, lawless people with righteous people? What fellowship has light with darkness? What harmony has Christ with the devil? Or what has a believer in common with an unbeliever? Does this mean that you shouldn't associate with any non-believing Christians? Uh, does it mean you shouldn't associate with people after your new beginning? Absolutely not. But Paul is saying we need to be careful about getting emotionally tangled in close relationships with people who have no intention of following God. We may think we're changing them, but often it's the other way around. King Solomon puts this in perspective in Proverbs chapter 13. He said, he who walks with wise men will be wise, but the companion of fools will suffer harm. Do you wanna be wise and find success in your new beginning? Then find wise people to walk with. Harm will surely come to those who choose to be the companions of fools. You know, sometimes even professing Christians can be used by the enemy to distract us from God's high calling for our lives. Perhaps they're filled with negativity or unbelief or harbor offenses towards other believers or have been compromised with uh, biblical standards of morality and integrity. But Paul warns us in 1 Corinthians chapter 5, stay away from such people. God wants to bless you. His warning against ungodly relationships is intended to spare you from harm, to keep you from influences that will hinder your new beginning. Psalms, the first chapter, tells us that God's path of blessing requires the elimination of relationships that would impair your spiritual growth. Listen to what David said in the first Psalm. How blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, nor stand in the path of sinners, nor sit in the seat of scoffers. Pause for a moment and ask the Lord to search your heart in light of this passage. Have you been living your life listening and following the counsel of ungodly people? That counsel may have come from personal relationships or through some other influences, possibly even through the media. Have you allowed peer pressure to sway you to walk in the path of sinners instead of God's paths? of righteousness? Do you hang out with people who openly mock God and scoff at the principles in His Word? You know, rather than letting toxic relationships squeeze you into the world's mold, Psalms 1 encourages you to allow your life to be shaped by obedience to God's Word. It says, His delight is in the law of the Lord, and in His law He meditates day and night. He will be like a tree firmly planted by streams of water, which yield its fruit in its season, and its leaf does not wither, and in whatever he does, he prospers. God wants your new beginning to lead you to this kind of blessed life. Instead of being blown about by the circumstances of life, he wants you to be like a tree firmly planted, he wants to help you escape from the winter seasons of life so you can yield your fruit in its season, in its due time. And He wants to bless and prosper your life in everything that you do. Your new beginning is just the beginning of a new life of blessing in covenant relationship with Jesus Christ. Don't let anything hold you back from God's wonderful plan for your life. 
Thank you once again for the time you've spent with me today. Your desire for a new beginning can be nourished by the hundreds of articles and daily devotionals and inspiring videos on this website, including a link to send us your prayer requests. I hope you'll tune in again tomorrow when I share the next vital steps towards establishing your new beginning. God bless you.